first grade and second grade, good to see you again. So remember yesterday we just kind of quickly studied and looked over stuff by the artist Romero Brito, all right? And we learned how he uses really bright colors and like simple designs like zigzags and lines and patterns and stuff to um, decorate the art that he does. And then I told you today we're going to do a piece of art in his style. It's going to be kind of something that we kind of have our own little take on it, okay? But we're going to use his style too to create our own little unique piece of art. Are you ready? Let's go to the artboard and I'll show you what we're going to do today. So remember yesterday when I just kind of gave you a quick look at this after the demonstration, we were going to make something called the funky forest. Trees, I'm going to show you how to make those simple trees, these little hills, show you how to lay down your markers or your crayons or your colored pencils to make those cool little stripes and then how we can decorate them in the style of Mr. Brito. All right, so here's what we do. This is not difficult at all. It just kind of looks like it is. We'll get a piece of paper and like I always say, pencil first. All right, that way if we make a mistake, we can always fix it. But now what I'm gonna want you to do, oh, about right here, you're just gonna make like a little part of a circle there like that. Have it go, make sure it goes all the way down to the bottom. All right, like a quarter of a circle. And then I'm gonna start about right here, make like another lump. Make sure it goes all the way to the end there. All right, now, you know what, as I'm looking at this, one thing to be careful of, and I kind of made a mistake here. Be careful how high you make this little lump here, all right? Don't make it way up here. If you do, we're not gonna be able to fit our trees in. So what I'm actually gonna do is erase mine a little bit, and I'm gonna go down a little bit further, like about right there, there we go, perfect. It's kinda nice to have one a little bit bigger than the other, so that's okay. So you're like, this one's a little bit taller, Mr. Michael's a little bit big, that's actually okay. It's kinda nice to have one a little bit bigger than the other one. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in those three trees. And we're just gonna make like the top of the trees, just kinda like the way you might make a little cartoon simple cloud. Just like lump, 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 lumps, big ones, little ones. Have it kinda go off the paper a little bit so it looks like it's kinda still going. There you go. And then right underneath it, come down straight with a couple of lines, have them stop right at the top of your hill there. Now we're gonna come over here, kinda do the same thing. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Two more lines right there. And then over here one more time. And again, have this one kind of like where you're just seeing part of the tree, like the branches and the leaves, not all of it. So maybe I start up here in the corner and just kind of go maybe like that. And then I'm gonna come down here and put my tree trunk there. Remember it stops right there. Then what we'll do after we've got all this done, we're gonna take a Sharpie or one of our permanent markers. And like we've been doing on a lot of things here lately, we're just gonna outline, go over those pencil lines, go over them as close to perfect as you can. There we go. In fact, you know what, I'm gonna do this line here. I'll do that. This shouldn't take too long. Just make sure you're doing it neatly. Staying on your lines, like I said, as close to perfect as you can. You're gonna get off, a, off the lines a little bit there, and that's all right. But just try to keep as close to them as you can, because they're just kind of a guide there for you. All right, and there we go. And now, if you're like me, you've got a few little spots there where you can see the pencil lines and things like there, and I got a spot over there. Grab an eraser and just kind of quickly just, oh, I've got a piece of paper falling over here. There we go. Pick it up. And now just erase them and there we go. All right. So now what you're going to want to do after you've got that is your tree branches or up here like where the leaves and stuff are. You're going to make those all just one color. All right. You're not gonna do like stripes of color inside them, at least not to begin with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this green. I'm not doing green just because, you know, it's like the color of the leaves. I just like this really bright color of green. 
All right, I'm going to go in there, make sure I color it up really nicely. Remember, don't scribble. These are going to work. It'll look more awesome the better and more solidly you color them. All right, so I'm going to do that one green. Maybe this one over here I'll do with a little bit of yellow, like in our example. I'm going to come back in, fill that up. And you'll notice Mr. Michael kind of turns his paper around back and forth. It's just a way that kind of helps me helps me color a little bit better. I can get to other air, you know, angles and stuff a little better if I turn the paper around. I can keep it a little bit neater. All right, I'm gonna go in, color that one up yellow. And then for my middle one, I think I'm gonna go for, let's see, there's the yellow down. How about we go like also in the example there, let's go with the pink. Now you guys do not have to use the same colors I'm using, all right? Some of you may have the type of markers I do, and some of you may not. Some of you may have crayons, maybe we have colored pencils, but no matter what we do have to use, we can still use this same technique no matter what. All right. Now I'm going to put a little orange here for this tree trunk. And then for the pink one, I think I'm going to get a little bit of blue for that tree trunk and then for the yellow one I think I'm gonna go with this like really bright pink or magenta color all right so I haven't put any of the little designs or anything in yet I'm just getting the base colors down there like the, the, what's gonna look like what, what the background color is gonna be I'm not even worried about the details and stuff yet okay now I'm going to show you how to do the stripes here. So what you'll do is just take your marker, your crayon, your colored pencil, and here's what I would do. So I'm going to make a big orange orange stripe here, all right? I'm going to start right here with a little one. There we go. And now I'm going to come back in and fill it in. So that's what I'm going to use for my first one. I could maybe make it a little bit bigger. If you run into that trouble and you're like, I, I could be a little bit bigger, make yourself a little bit of a line below that and come back and fill it in. All right, let's see. Now for this next one, I think I will go with, where's that one particular green color that I have here. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna take this and now I'm gonna kind of go right up against the orange there with this one. All right, then I'm gonna come down here, make that little line, and now I'll come back, and just like we did with the orange, fill that puppy in there. Remember, fill it in, don't scribble it. The more solidly you can color it, the better it's gonna look. And now let's go with some, I'm gonna go with some yellow. Again, put a little stripe right there next to that color. Make another one down there. You know what, I'm kind of out of space, so I'm just going to fill that one up. And there we go. So there's some stripes there. I'll come over here to this one. And let's see, what could I use here? How about just plain old regular green? Make my stripe. There we go. Come back in. Fill it in. There we go. Let's see, what can we use next? One color I haven't used for a little bit. How about some purple? Just some good old fashioned regular purple. The royal color, the color of kings. It is said that purple is. All right, there we go. Let's see, how about, I used one shade of blue for the tree trunk over there, but what if I use a different one over here? Remember, put that line down next to the purple, the one below it, then come back and fill it in. Let's see, one of my favorite.
favorite colors here next. How about some red? Okay, and one last little one. How about, I'm gonna go, whoa, let's go back to yellow. And there we go. Now what you're gonna do is most of the time Mr. Michael is always like, color the background, don't leave it white, don't leave it white. You know what, for this one, we're gonna leave it white, okay? <laughs> but now, let me grab our example. Now what I want you to do is once you've got your base colors down, now you're gonna come back in and just start, remember how we did yesterday, you're gonna take some kind of similar colors and start doing your little patterns or lines or stripes or dots on top of those areas, all right? Don't forget to fill every one of them in somehow with a little bit of something. You can copy, I mean, I did polka dots here, I can do polka dots there. Just don't do like polka dots here and polka dots there. If I do stripes here, I'm not gonna do stripes there but that doesn't mean I couldn't do them over here again or over there, all right? So you can kind of use the same color, even the same colors. I could use this same color, like the pink and the purple. I could do that over here, just so they're not right next to each other. All right, my friends, take your time, steady hand, no scribbles, and let's get started.